Hi everybody, this is Nathan from Ray Networks again. This is part two of our Proofpoint Essentials uh, demonstration videos. Uh, in part one, we talked about um, how to create a customer in the portal. And then once you have customers created, how that affects the breadcrumb at the top here so that we can uh, navigate within the portal. So just to recap, I've got a demo account here called Test Rain Disty, which is kind of emulating uh, say a managed service provider company or a technical service provider company and then I went to customers and created a test customer called Chad's Automotive which is a, a prospective end user that I've created so I'm gonna go ahead and click on Chad's Automotive and you can see as I showed in the last video the breadcrumb changes and so this tells me that I am now managing the company settings for Chad's Automotive now on this company settings uh, screen here there's a few uh, important things to notice as I scroll down here it shows me my licensed features and this is important because you know if I had set Chad's automotive up with the intent of say uh, having email encryption for them you can see that email encryption is not a licensed feature uh, for Chad's automotive so if we said well gosh we really want email encryption to be a licensed feature for Chad's Automotive. How do we change that? Well, luckily it's very easy to do. What we do is we go back up here to the main menu and we have licensing. That's right on this uh, gray bar here up at the top. And I can simply right here in this middle section either upgrade or downgrade uh, the license package, which I'm actually going to do. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this to uh, the advanced package. I then need to click the accept the uh, the EULA, got to make the lawyers happy, and then hit save. And that's how easy it is to um, uh, switch your licensing package from one to the other. Uh, if I just wanted basic anti-spam and antivirus filtering, I could just downgrade it to beginner. So that's very, very simple. And that's how you uh, look at what features you have and what licensed uh, features you're paying for because obviously you know you don't want to pay for features if you don't need them and you want to make sure that you have the right features so this section under licensed features is very crucial uh, make sure that this has what you're looking for in here uh, the next thing I wanted to cover was branding so you'll notice that right now my portal is blue and I've got the Rain Networks Raindrop as my logo in the upper left. I've selected that branding for my test rain distribution client. But with Chad's Automotive, if I want their portal to be specifically branded for them, I can actually have a portal specifically for Chad's Automotive. So the branding section, as you can see, is right here in the, again in the gray bar. You've got branding right here. Okay, and as I click on that, it gives me a section here to upload a logo. So I'm going to go ahead into the Browse button and select a, a Ford JPEG that I had uh, previously saved. And then under Color Scheme, I can select a picture or a, a different color to go with my picture. So I'm going to go ahead and make that, uh, oh, let's see, we'll make that green. All right, and then I'll go ahead and hit Save. And voila, you can see that now I'm in Chad's Automotive. I've got my Ford logo, and everything is green just the way I wanted it. Now, when I click back on my test rain distribution, notice that the branding goes back to my rain distribution blue with the raindrop branding. So just to kind of show you that again, I'll go to Customers. I'll click on Chad's Automotive. And there you see it switched over to the Ford logo and the green uh, branding that I had selected there. This becomes important later because your customers are going to receive notification emails from Proofpoint. The notification emails pick up the branding that you select in the portal. So now my notification emails will include the, the Ford logo and the green, um, the green banner. And then also when users go to log into the portal, this is the same branding that they will see similar to what you see in the admin console. All right, so that covers uh, the licensing and then also the branding that goes with the account. And I hope that was helpful. In the uh, next video, we're going to get um, some information on how to configure our domains and start managing uh, some of our, our users.